Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsus T and welcome back to Factorio. And hopefully this will be the last time you see me hack down some trees to make room for a new factory. Because the factory we plan to build today is robots. And I think we will cover both kind of robots although uh, I do not really plan to uh, uh, really have a huge demand for logistic robots not for uh, delivering material but maybe uh, in the sense where they can supply me with uh, things that I have run out of. But even there, I think maybe not to the extent where they can deliver wherever I am, but I should be in the, in the vicinity of um, uh, where uh, the, the production is. So that would mean we would have different um, cells, different locations, logistic networks um, for the uh, the different uh, squares that we have here but you know the drill uh, first let's uh, let's make room here then we figure out what we need material wise place the uh, stations and the smeltings and then we come to the interesting part we have the space now let's see about what we need in that space so we want these uh, we also want the other kind and it would be nice if we also had the uh, rover ports and with logistics we probably want to have storage chests and provided chests maybe we only need storage chests well they use the the, the same the same material so let's figure out that first um that needs to go up this that also needs steel and the steel needs to go down and I have these have we sorted out yeah we have so that means all that remains here now are these ones and we need to reduce the number quite a bit So that we do not have huge arrays of uh, furnaces and even here is with this low amount um, I think we can remove that one 
with this low amount we have way too too much here so i think we go here more uh for for a, a ratio so that we have 20 furnaces here and then it's half the amount for copper and uh, uh, then the same amount for for the steel um, and half um, half the amount that's that's about a fourth of the of the numbers that we have here we don't need to to uh, totally uh, balance that looking at the at the material list at uh, this is actually the same material list as we have up here and this this is kind of uh, of good because uh, with these materials we then are also able to produce the the blue circuits um, that will probably come in handy next time so next step let me build up all the stations and uh, and the smelting and uh, then we can see where we go from there the materials are already being delivered so now let's figure out the next steps so we have this this and let's move the, the steel down a bit more as we also have the steel covered so next up is copper wire that's uh, 17 and we said uh, we are going for around a fourth of the, the numbers that we have so uh, for assembly machines there so let's bring this down and have this going that way have it on the outside bring everything to get there and do it that way Have power poles there we go and we need the, the wires for the red and the green circuits so those are next uh, so two machines for the green circuits um, let's do it that way and have iron coming in from there and we can output there output output input 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 um let's have bit of that going and we shall have one two three there here we can bring up iron right that's that that we need plastics one chemical factory should be good enough
plastics. next plastics okay now let's bring this together for the red circuits um, there we need one force that's 10 10 machines so I was thinking red circuits and green circuits on the same belt because copper wire that's the thing we need the most and we try to do it here on this side uh, red we need to have this Let's bring this down straight. Copy is this. And uh, let's bring plastic around on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And let's have it like this. And then we need long handed inserters. And here, this side, we also have long handed inserters for the output. Let's bring the output down here. And here on this side, I think we can have. Short-handed. Um, we want to have a bit of there. Power. Um, circuits nice then steel chests pipes and uh, gears oh here we have that let's make steel chests there One is sufficient, right? More than sufficient. And then we have gears and pipes. Bring 
bring that together like this. And have it on one belt. Nice. And then we have everything there for the engines. So here, one engine plant should be sufficient. Do we need the gears and the pipes? Yeah, there we need the gears, but not the pipes. So, what we can do, let's bring this up a bit more. Like this, and then we can siphon off the gears to over there. Input there and there. That's for engines. And the engines go into the electric engines. We can do direct insertion there. And there we need a bit of um, the green circuits. So let's take that off of here. And bring this over and out of underground. Uh, um, belt, I mean. So let's connect this up then. And wire it up. Nice. Um, we need those. For the flying robot frames, and that's it. So, flying robot frames that also requires steel, and green circuits. So. way flying robot frames we can have long handed inserters here on this side and then we need batteries batteries are uh, sulfuric acid copper and iron plates Right, where are they? Yeah, so we will make those over here once I have more material. I think if we have a long handed inserter here, and then we place the chemical plant there we can have another long handed insert there and bring the copper over that way and then it should be relatively easy bringing the sulfuric acid down here And yeah, we need 
output. Actually, we can output it on uh, this belt. Then we get it there as well. And from there, we then go to these. Those. Which means we have to bring up the red circuits. Uh, I will bring them down first. So we have a bit of a space here in the middle. So that we can then um, have the uh, let's okay that's almost it. Also want to build buffer chests. Now we can do it here. This way. Need a bit of wiggling of the steel. And have a small down there. Oh. Um, actually, we don't need the steel here. We need the just there. So they are down here. We need to go up there. Nice. And then we can have these here. Think two stacks will suffice, one stack will suffice. And the last thing we need to have here are. Also need red circuits. So let's bring steel and uh, this together. Then maybe with one long tunnel, uh, there we can have this. And there I think we also uh, only need one. And maybe important here is that we set the logistic filter on this so that not by accident um, any other 
material is deposited in there. Um, uh, yeah. Actually, let's move this one over. this power pole there and can we manage no we cannot that's awkward okay let's figure something else out we will bring it Top. And bring it in that way. That works. Um, and then here, of course, we need output chest. These. Very nice. Okay, we are producing everything that we want to produce here. So next time we have to figure out how to make use of all that. Um, that in there, and the plastics can go there. And the batteries go here. Uh, because uh, this grid is not really that big and uh, the, we can actually create a bigger armor but we need processing units for that as long along with uh, electric engine units but that's what we will focus on in next episode for now, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time when we get a new better armor and um, we will see what we can do with that.